Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Harvest Taylor game on your Windows computer or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue or if you're receiving fatal error. So the first step is to restart a computer. Simply restart a computer once and after the system restart, launch the game. Still you're facing the problem then, allow the game.exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection now Click on manage your ransomware protection. Now click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow. Now click on add an allowed app, then click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive, program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find the game folder. I don't have the game installed over here, so I don't have the folder. I'll show you with another game. So open the Harvest Taylor game folder. This is just an example. Select the game exe file, then click on open. Now once the game is added over here, now launch the game. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have Nvidia card, go to Nvidia website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for Nvidia. So copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. On NVIDIA website, select your graphic card. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 10, select Windows 10. If you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. Now click on start search. Scroll down over here, you can see GeForce Game Ready Driver. This is the latest one right now. So click on get download. Click on download now. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file and then you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next now let the installation complete now after the installation your driver should be up to date now the next step is to roll back graphics driver so to roll back graphics driver Again, go to the NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card and select your operating system. Now, right now, the latest is 526 period 47. So you can install 522 period 25 or you can install 517 period 48. So just download the previous version or the older version of graphics driver. Now, once the download is complete, run the exe file and again, go for clean installation make sure that you go for clean installation and then restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in the windows search box and then click on graphic settings now click on browse over here and then go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed Open the Steam folder, open the Steam apps folder, now open the common folder. Now open the Harvest Taylor game folder. This is just an example. Select the game exe file, click on add. Once the game is added, click on the game, select options, select high performance over here. Now save and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator. For this, again, go to library and make a right click on the game. So I am showing you with another game. This is just an example. So make a right click on Harvestella game and then select manage then click on browse local files. It will straight away take you to the game installation folder. Or manually you can go to the game installation folder. I don't know why this is not opening. So open the Steam Steam folder. Steam apps, common, 
Now over here you will find our Vistella game folder. Open the game folder and then make a right click on the game exe file. Select properties and then go to compatibility tab. And then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator. Put a check over here and then click on apply, click on OK and then launch the game from here. So just double click harvest a game and then launch the game from the game installation folder. Now the next step is to install visual C++ file. Now for this copy this link, the link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser, it will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. Download x86 version first. And then run this exe file. Now click on repair. If you see the repair option, if you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now download x64 version as well. Now run this exe file. Now again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, click on install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Now once the installation is complete, you will see a restart option. So make sure that both the installation are complete. Then click on restart and after the system restart, launch the game. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to install media feature pack if you if you are using N version of Windows. So if you have N version of Windows 10 or Windows 11, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will again take you to Microsoft website. And over here you can see in Windows 11, open Windows settings. Now go to apps and then click on optional features and then click on view features. And over here type in media feature pack. Now I don't have Windows 11 N edition, I have Windows 11 home, so I don't see media feature pack. But when you type in, if you have Windows N edition, you will see media feature pack over here. Put a check over here and then click on next, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now if you have Windows 10, in that case, go to settings, then apps, apps and features, click on optional feature, then click on add a feature and then type in media feature pack, install it, restart your computer and then launch the game. Or you can simply switch to normal Windows 10 or 11 edition. Next step is to disable overlay in Steam. For this, make a right click on the game. I am showing you with another game. This is just an example. Make a right click on the game. Uncheck the box which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Also close all the overlay applications. So if you have Discord running, close Discord. If you have GE Force Experience running, close GE Force Experience. So close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application. So if you have MSI Afterburner running, the Revert Tuner running, close it. So close all the overclocking application. Also perform clean boot. For this, type in system configuration in Windows search box and then click on system configuration. Now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. Make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case, this is grayed out. I already did it. In your case, this would be highlighted. So put a check on the box over here and then click on disable all. Now click on apply, click on OK. You will see the restart option, restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So make sure your Windows is up to date. This is important. Go to update in security and then click on check for update. And after the update, launch the game. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to verify the game file. For this, make a right click on Harvestella game in Steam, then select properties, go to the local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files after the verification, launch the game. Now the next step is to increase the virtual memory. For this type in view advanced system settings. Now in the search box type in view advanced system settings, click on it. Now click on the first settings over here. Now go to advanced tab and then click on change over here. Now by default, automatically page, managed paging file would be selected. Uncheck this, select the drive where the game is installed, then put a check on custom size. And then for initial size, for me, this is working 1.5 into total RAM. Now to find the total RAM, go to the start menu, click on settings and then go to system and then click on about 
over here in my case it's 8 gigabytes now we have to convert 8 gigabytes into megabytes so open calculator for 8 gigabytes 8 into 1024 that is 8192 megabytes into 1.5 so it's uh, 12288 so as per 8 gigabytes it's 12 288 and and the maximum size is 3 into total RAM now total RAM in my case at as per 8 gigabytes it's 8192 plus into 3 that is 24576 24576 as per 8 gigabytes RAM now click on set And then click on OK. 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 Now launch the game. Now the next step is to try window mode. If you are able to launch the game, switch to window mode and lower down graphic settings. So lower down the resolution. If the resolution is set to 4K, you can try 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more and try window mode. Also, if all the graphic settings, the graphics quality is set to high you can select medium or you can even go for low quality and then check the performance now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitor so try launching the game on single monitor also unplug all the usb devices which you are not using also if you have these software running close this software make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything including all your browsers also, if you, if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Now, the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive. So, on Steam, make a right click on the game, select manage, then click on uninstall. Now, after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, now restart your computer, and after the system restart, reinstall the game to different drive. So, if you have another SSD or HDD, try installing the game to different drive and then check. So, one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.